Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Happy National Planner Day! And what better way to celebrate than to get this teacher planner in the beginning stages of setup. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, you guys, again, today is National Planner Day, one of the best days of the year for us planner girls and guys. So I hope that you are taking this opportunity to have a little extra fun in your planners today. Um, before I get all the way in, let's read the quote for today. It says, a messy life is a messy filled life is the one that the Lord loves to use. All he asks of us is our bravery to follow him fully. I love that. Sorry, I'm tongue tied, moving fast as usual. I love that though. Yes, definitely. I have noticed in life that God uses the messiest people to do the things that he needs them to do. And I love that because my life is a mess. <laughs> my life is a mess, but I am still very, very, very much blessed. And I appreciate that um, every single day. I do not take any moment of life for granted. And I hope that you do not do that either. So this pile in front of me, I have this beautiful cover from Live Love Posh. I did purchase this when I was at Go Wild. You guys, it is so pretty. Um, but I just thought it would be a nice sleek addition to my planner. So I'm going to put this to the side for now. And then if you have been here, then you know I did purchase the Kelleville Plan Planner for this year. Oh, my principal already gave me some notes. <laughs> uh, so here we are. All right, so I have my sticker books. I'm not going to need these as of yet, nor will I need the grade book yet or the to-do list pad as of right now. So I'm gonna put those things to the side. So this is what the planner looks like. And of course, we are going to start by putting our name at school. The kids, I go by Miss B, um, but in here, I'm just gonna put my name. <laughs> And these are from Bless Your Heart stickers. Last year, I did like a vinyl where I just put Miss B or whatever, but I didn't feel like doing that this year. So I decided I'm just gonna put my name because it's my name. All right. Uh, okay, well, that's about as straight as I'm gonna get it. That's fine. And I like that it has the rainbow colors that kind of go with the whole like rainbow vibe. So I'm here for that. Okay, so then of course, in this first section, we have our uh, like yearly calendar, our important dates. So we don't have anything in July. I am going to be on the calendar committee this year. So having these dates is going to be important for me. So August 7th, through ninth is Teacher Institute. Yay. The 12th, I keep saying the 14th. <laughs> the 12th is first day of school. So we're gonna write that down for now. And then we'll just do September 2nd is Labor Day. And I'm not going to bore you with the rest. I will go ahead and fill that out. Let me make sure there's no, um, since we're in September. 26 is um, National School Parent Group. Day. I don't know what that is, but we might celebrate it. So we'll keep it in there. I don't, what pen is this? A Sharpie roller? I like that. 
I haven't used this in a while. Okay, so the rest of these dates, I will go ahead and fill in off camera, but I just wanted to kind of show you my plan for these days. And then on this calendar, put that to the side again. On this calendar, I would like to mark the days off. So we'll do days off in this blue dot marker. So we are off on the second. We are off on October 14th. We are off November 5th. We are off on the 11th. We are off 27, 28, and 29. December. Okay, so break starts. Oh gosh, it's late this year. Oh my goodness. And we go back to school on the 6th. Oh my goodness, that's late this year. Uh, no school on January 20th, no school on February 17th, or 18th apparently, interesting, no school on the 3rd, no school on, oh my gosh, even our spring break is late, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 sweet okay so that's <laughs> probably gonna go on a trip <laughs> no school on the 19th and the 26th just in the event that we go that long but our last day is theoretically the may 22nd so I'm just gonna, oops, I'm just gonna kind of circle that. We should not have any snow days just because of the, um, our school is one-to-one -one with technology. So we are able to just do virtual learning, which is kind of like a blessing and a curse because yeah. Okay, so then I know our first payday is going to be on September 13th. And then the 30th, October 15th and 31st, uh, November 15th, and I don't know about the second one. I'll have to look on that one. December 13th, and I don't know about the second one for that either because of the holiday. My ice machine is going, so just in case you hear that, that's what that is the 14th and the 28th, 14th and 31st. So typically we get paid on the 15th and 30th or, you know, thereabouts. Um, so May 15th and May 30th and then June 13th and June 30th. Okay, so uh, I can put blue or green rather, duh is what I assume is going to be payday. <laughs> Those dates are subject to change, but it does give me a rough a rough idea. And this is no school. Okay, sweet. All right, so make sure you guys can still see okay good so we have that part done like i said i will finish adding in these dates and these dates so that when we're working on the school calendar i have that available then we go into this page which more than likely i will not use just because i just don't think 
Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I don't feel like this is enough page enough pages though. So what I may actually do is just take this and either make a copy of this so it can have additional pages or just completely remake this so that I can print off multiple. But I use a uh, class dojo, so I don't really need this because that's typically how I communicate with parents. So anything I need to know, I could just look back in there to see. Um, this here, I think I'm going to use probably as like my seating chart, I'm thinking, but I don't know for sure. So this is another page I'm not sure with what to do with yet. July, I don't need. So we're gonna go ahead and just, we can, yeah, we can totally take this whole month out. Your girl is not planning anything. Well, July's over. <laughs> but I was not planning anything in July anyway. Okay, so then we have our August. This month, what did I just write? Uh, this month events, seven through nine. And my phone's ringing. Okay, yeah, my bad, y'all. Um, Phone call. It's funny because I keep my phone on do not disturb or sleep or whatever. But of course, because <laughs> I have certain people that can get through, they're still able to call. Um, first day of school. My handwriting looks terrible, but you know, such is life. Okay, and then I'm sure we'll have other things that come up, but we're not going to write that. Any student birthdays that I have. Uh, will go or even staff birthdays will go in this section obviously any meetings that come here and then any other like important tasks or things that I need to do for the month but I don't necessarily have a specific time for will go in this section so I already know this month we're going to have uh, NWEA testing because we always do and then BOY testing, BOY is beginning of the year, just in case you're not a teacher. Um, and then I'm probably going to have to do, well, I don't know. We'll just stop there. Okay. I really like this pen on this paper. Um, so then, of course, here we go into our monthly. I did purchase some stickers from Black Mountain Plans, but I don't know because it, originally I was going to use a Happy Planner. So I don't know if these are going to work. These are not going to work. Nope, they're not. The boxes and things will probably be fine, but this header unless I cut the dates off, is not going to work just because it starts on a Sunday. Yeah, the way this is lined up is different. I'm assuming that the Happy Planner must have their notes section on this side. I don't know. Anyway, the boxes and things should still be usable. So let's see. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and the crazy thing is, I know that I actually have stickers for these <laughs> words that I'm writing. But I don't know where they are. So, such is life. So we have this, this, and then uh, I don't really want to cover. So pretty. I'm a butterfly girl. 
I have this one too, but it's not until like winter time. So we're not going to use that, obviously. Um, let me just pop this in the back of the book for now. And then will this fit? Yes. Cute. And I don't care that that's, I do care. <laughs> I'm like, who am I kidding? I, I very much care that that's right there. So will you fit here too? Uh, it's a little shh. Okay, hold on. Maybe not this one. I feel like this one is wider. And if it's too wide, then I'll just cut it. Nope. Perfect. Ah, yes. Okay. And then, I mean, since I have this out, we might as well put this one in too. And I feel like this book, oops. No, I thought one of these books had some actual like teacher like quotes in it. But maybe I made that up. Yep, apparently I totally made that up. Okay. All right, so I'll find something else later. So then here, I don't know why I kept thinking school started on the 14th. Hmm. We're going to put first day of school. Okay, there's that and that. And then I will put this to the back. So we have August started. I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. Uh, let's use this one. I know... August is like a weird month as far as our pay is concerned. Um, because the like fiscal year starts over, blah, 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 blah. But I think we get paid for the whole month of August on the 15th, I think. But maybe not. Anyway, so I'm just going to put this one in here because that's the one I know for sure. Then, of course, once we get in here... This is our weekly pages. Now, this is the only thing I haven't decided. I haven't really decided if I'm going to leave these pages in and just like take my lesson plans in or put my lesson plans in between. Like I haven't decided what that's going to look like yet. Um, I'm not going to write my lesson plans in here because we have to submit them. So it wouldn't make sense to. I'm kidding. I do write them. Okay, so I, I forgot. I submit the ones that we have, but then I write kind of like a more like streamlined version of this because for the week, like let's say we're working on letter H, whatever. We work on letter H for the entire week. So I don't feel the need to keep writing that over and over and over again. So typically what I'll do is write uh, whatever the lesson is and then just kind of put a line across and then have to separate it with like language, math, science, social studies, blah, blah, blah. So that is what is going to go on those pages. But obviously I can't write that down right now because I don't know. Um, and then we have the remaining months, which we're not going to get into. But just in case you did miss, here is what September looks like. Here is October. November. Here is December. I thought one of these books had these quotes in there. January. Here's February, March, April, May, and then I'm going to take out June because we are not going to be in school that long. And 
unless there's some random act of God, <laughs> we won't be there that long. And then I have this grade section in the back, which I do actually use. So where did I put my calendar? Oh, in the front. Okay, so our grades. Um, so I'm just going to put um, here, end of first quarter. I don't know why I wrote that backwards. End of second quarter is December 20th. End of third quarter. March 14th, and then end the fourth quarter is on May 22nd. Okay, so that'll let me know when report cards and progress reports are due. Um, and then I'll write like progress report dates here so all right so there's our grades and then again i use oops i do use these i think i might change these discs if i really don't like plastic ones i use these for um, my grade book uh so i usually put like math in one because that's about all i need and then you know reading and then science and social studies science and social studies i probably only need like two pages for the whole year but I did purchase the additional pages just in case. All right, so one thing I'm going to do while we're talking about it is I am going to change these discs really quickly. So give me one second and let me go grab some new ones. All right, you guys, so I have these super cute metal discs. They're from the Stitch Be Happy box that I got a while ago. And do they match? Not really, <laughs> but I love them. So we're using them. So I'm going to actually put them on this cover first, but yeah, no, they don't actually match anything, but I love them and they will bring me joy. So that's what we're doing. This year is, this year moving forward is do more things that bring you joy. <laughs> Forget if it doesn't seem right or appear right to others. If it brings me joy, I'm here for it. Because life is short. And the older I get, the shorter it feels. So this trip to Panama was definitely a very much needed eye-opening experience for me and it really makes me appreciate life just that much more. All right, so these are the classic size discs. Um, I do not put expander discs on this planner because it's honestly, it's already big enough. So if I have to, oh, this is going to be too big. I don't care. I'm using it anyway. Um, I'm going to stand up too because I can't see. But yeah, if I have to, then I will um, take some pages out. But I never put the expander disc on here. It's, it's literally, it's already massive enough. As you can see, it takes up almost my entire table. <laughs> So it does take up a lot of desk space. A lot of people use the classic size, which I'm not opposed to the classic size, but I love the idea of being able to take meeting notes and things like that and just 
put them in here. Any type of relevant information. Um, I like being able to just put that in here. So even like my school calendar that you guys see, like I have it folded because it obviously has our school information on it. And although I put a lot on the internet, I don't want like everything on the internet. Um, so, but once we get started, I will actually put it in here correctly just to have another reference point and to make sure that I didn't make any errors. So yeah, this is pretty much what this looks like. So I will speed through this part and then be back. Okay, so I have this in here. I think I'm gonna have to take, I think I'm gonna have to leave the back cover off. Cause once I, yeah, the back cover keeps the pin from being able to fit. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, that might be a trade off. We'll have to see. But anyway, I love it. I love the way it turned out. I do wish the front cover was a little bit smaller, but it of course is made for her covers and not the Live Love Posh covers. I'm sure these would fit just fine on <laughs> a regular Happy Planner, which is what this was made for. So just note that if you get the planner from Kelly Will Plan, her covers are a little bit larger than the traditional Happy Planner. But either way, I'm excited about it. The only reason why I like it is because I really want something to cover this first page or else I wouldn't even use the cover because I feel like this cover is you know nice enough all by itself but yeah i really want something to keep this first page protected because it has my name on it so anywho that is it you guys thank you so much for tuning in with me today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and continue to follow along for more teacher content by hitting that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. You guys are amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet, and be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.